How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. So this video was supposed to start off with, you know, me tearing down the shed. Well, I already did it. <clears throat> me just forgot to turn the camera on. But it's all completely torn down. There's part of it. That's part of it. Um, went down pretty easy. It did kind of shift a little bit and hit the back fence. Kind of messed the fence up a little bit right there. And a little bit over there not a big deal that can be all tied up plus i'm planning on doing privacy fence anyways so let's go ahead i'm going to get all this chopped up because right now basically it's just in a pile there pile here i want to get it all chopped up and just laid on top of the foundation and i mean you can see this this thing was falling apart so get it cut up just get it laid on the foundation for now then after that i will show you the layout of where the garage is going to be and then i'm also going to show you the garage online show you what the plans are so let's go ahead and get this cleaned up okay well everything that was out here is cleaned up that pile i'll get that later but for right now Everything that was out here in the backyard and laying on that is all cut up into manageable pieces and put on here. So basically, now I just got to get rid of all this. And then, of course, the foundation, all that too. Now, the new garage is basically going to start. I think it has to come over a little bit because this was in here and if I'm correct you have to have three foot off the um, off my property line I'm gonna get it surveyed real soonly but that's not three foot that's like two so I'm pretty sure the garage is gonna have to get moved over just a little bit which is fine so basically we'll just hypothetically say it's gonna start at that corner right there And then we're gonna come all the way down to right here. So it's gonna be 36 feet that way. And then basically from the front of where the shed is, was in this, is gonna come all the way back to that line right there where that board is or stick whatever which is 18 feet I should be able to move it back farther because once I get it surveyed my yard goes back three more feet if I'm correct so I'm gonna probably be able to shift the whole garage back some and then it's of course it's gonna have to come down this way a little bit but basically it's gonna take up most of the yard. It'll leave me roughly from where this is to my fence line, about 25 feet, which is fine. And I have plenty of room on that side of the house to drive in and out, so this is perfect. So I'm gonna go inside, get cooled off for a minute, and then get on the computer and I'm gonna show you layout of the garage and how it's going to be for right here and roughly how much is this going to cost okay so i'm in and now let's show you on my computer the garage and how the layout's going to be and all that kind of stuff i don't have the accessibility to you know hook my computer up that so basically we're just going to show you like this do the best i can so we're going to go 18 foot wide and 36 foot long and then you know we can pick the colors so we're going to just kind of do probably like some you know gray roof white trim around the edges we can pick the walls here in a little bit 
Alright, so next. And we're doing um, on concrete. Then you can do the side colors. So there that is. So it's like a darker gray and a lighter gray with white sides. As you see right now, absolutely nothing on it. So then, go to the next, and this is where we can add doors. So let's turn it to a side because it's going to be in the in the backyard, long ways like that. So there'll be doors along the side like that. So left side. Garage door, add. Then left side again. Another garage door, add. Left side again. Another garage door, add. Then left side one more time. Walk through door, add. And that is how the garage is going to be in the backyard. Three bays and a walkthrough door. And I mean, this is going to wind up being perfect. Exactly like that. And again, it is 18 foot deep, 36 feet long. And the total cost is going to be just over seven thousand dollars which isn't too bad then you got the deposit which is made right off the bat and then seven thousand dollars you know total. so you take you, you got to make a deposit for them to come out and start doing it and as soon as they get here and all that stuff and they're finished you pay the remaining that's not too bad so just over seven thousand dollars for a very nice size garage in the backyard so first thing we need to do is finish getting all the debris all the shed that's there out I'm gonna go ahead and make some dump runs if I can <clears throat> I think the dump might be closed right now because of the coronavirus and everything like that but things are starting to open back up slowly so as soon as it does get open I can go ahead and get all that stuff taken care of and get it out of here and then we are going to get the yard surveyed, get the concrete poured, and then get a garage going. That is my goal this year. I know this is what, May? I mean, I still got a couple, you know, quite a bit more in this year, but it is going to happen this year. So this is just the start of it. And then once we get the garage built, there's going to be so much more action happening back in the garage versus out in my driveway. So, step one is done, which is knocking the shed down. Step two, get it surveyed, which will happen here within the next couple weeks. And just keep on going. Alright, hope you enjoyed this short little video of some future plans and tearing down the garage and getting everything on point. Alright, catch you in the next video.